MotoGP leg dangle. So why did riders start doing this? There is a lot of theories, a lot of stories behind this. But today I'm going to tell you exactly why this is happening. This is the truth behind the leg dangle. So why this is happening? Well, bikes, tires and brakes are making constant progress and riders are always trying to find new ways to cope with this progress and improve the performance on the bike. The leg dangle was a direct consequence of the increase in performance from the bikes, the tires and the brakes. We got to a point where sometimes because the deceleration, the g-force was so strong in braking, your foot would just slip off the peg. And this really happens to all of us. Valentino was the first one to actually figure out that this could be an advantage. So um, we started to see him bending his leg in every corner and we could see that really well because one he's got really long legs and second they're painted in yellow. So everybody was thinking what the hell is going on here? So everybody started to pay closer attention to this and then many many riders started to try and do the same. And this is why this was nicknamed the doctor's dangle. To put this into context, basically in MotoGP the carbon brakes and the evolution of the bikes, the brakes and the tires is bringing extra performance, extra braking performance. And the braking position is not a comfortable one. You go all the way to the front, a massive weight transfer onto your arms, your, your feet are placed high up on the pegs and you haven't got much strength. Basically you're just left in position where well, basically you're trying to survive. Because your knees are bent, you also have a very little core strength and it's hard to hold yourself back from that massive g-force wanting to push you to the front of the bike. When all of this is happening, when you dangle your inside leg, many changes happen and I'm going to describe them now. The first thing is that you lower your center of gravity. So by dangling your leg, your foot goes down and it's not only your foot, your whole leg, your thigh as well goes down. So this is quite a bit of weight that you put more down and lowering the center of gravity increase braking stability and braking performance. You're also shifting some weight from the front to the rear. Basically by dangling your leg, your thigh is going to be straight and more backwards. You'll have a better position on the bike, more backwards, you'll be able to put more weight onto your bum and more weight onto your outside foot peg so you'd be a lot more planted and this also increased the braking stability and the braking efficiency. There is also a big increase in core strength. Basically by dropping your leg you're gonna feel a lot more planted on the bike, you're gonna feel a lot stronger, you have more strength, you can use your outside foot a lot more. So this will make a big difference because the forces and the physical, the physicality of it, it's so important, you're suddenly going to feel a lot more comfortable staying there for a few seconds with all those G's into your arms. And by dropping your inside leg, you also will be able to use your outside inner thigh onto the tank to use that as a resistance as well. There's also an aerodynamic advantage. So when we're in a straight, the rider is hiding, you try and be as streamlined as possible to gain some speed in the straight. When you're braking, it's the exact opposite. You wanna, you, want, you wanna act like a parachute. So riders brake, go up in the same time, you offer your body with resistance. Now this has a double effect. The first effect is the wind, in essence, is gonna stop you and the bike. So it's gonna help you stop, you, you add air resistance. Now the second thing is, the forces are massive onto your arms when you brake. The G-forces are, are really, really strong with MotoGP. So that wind that is hitting you is actually pushing you back. So what it does is it, it's taking weight off your arms and is helping you cope physically with the demand of a MotoGP braking zone. So pushing your leg outside the frame of the motorcycle is going to add air resistance. And also it's adding resistance, but in the right place. What it is, is you're adding resistance low and this is going to act like an anchor basically, like, a, like an air anchor, trying to help you stop and also basically sitting even more by the air resistance, sitting the bike more down for braking. This last point is probably a really marginal gain but 
in MotoGP, every little margin on gain makes a difference. And the riders do not do anything by mistakes. Everything you see on track happening, every technique, every little bit of strange thing that you think, oh, why is he doing that? This is all in the quest of finding little tenth or not even tenth and, and, and really fractions of seconds everywhere. Negative points? Well, I don't think there is any. Probably with the boot suppliers, like your sponsor is going to have to supply you a little bit more boots during the season because they tend to get used uh, boots versus tarmac. The tarmac will win, but that's about it. Otherwise, it's only advantages. Does this work on normal bikes or can you do it on your track day? Well, like I said, the gains are really, really small, marginal gains. So, I mean, you can try it, but uh, I don't think you're going to feel a difference unless you're really on the limit. So unless you are like, chasing the lap record on your local track, uh, I really, I wouldn't bother. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, technical video and uh, that you learned something today. Don't forget to uh, click the subscribe, the bell and everything and leave some comments and uh, I'll be seeing you soon. Bye bye.